basically go your Goku in this world. You're gonna be going around this uh, this like huge environment, the world of Dragon Ball Z. You're gonna be taking in all these different enemies. Uh, obviously, this is the Raditz fight. This is early on in the beginning of the game. And if you guys have questions, mic up, please. Someone says in the chat. Can you guys not hear me? Let me know. Um, so yeah, this is early on. If you guys have any questions about it, just uh, give me a holler. Yeah, these are, this is one of the battles that's going to take place. I believe this is kind of part of the uh, part of the adventure mode here. So yeah, this is this is the historic fight when he first fights Raditz after uh, he takes Gohan. Here. I'm gonna let this play out a little bit. There you can see some of the combat. Once again, CyberConnect 2 is developing, and they're keeping the action super tight. There, so you see a little bit of that B roll footage. People in the chat are asking us to turn down the music a little bit, so if my team can handle that, that would be greatly appreciated. Yep, we are working on the audio for you guys, don't worry. You also have to excuse my voice. Uh, it was, uh, it's uh, for me technically, it's day three. Day four, maybe of uh, of uh, E3. So I've been I've been doing a lot of talking. I've been doing a lot of yelling. Uh, the music is louder than me. I'm sorry, guys. At least you guys will get to listen to the music as opposed to listening to uh, my dulcet tones, if you will. Ben and Echo US. Is this the game soundtrack, or are you just playing this song? This is actually part of the soundtrack. This is in the game. So yeah, this is part of the soundtrack. Thank you for the question. I missed your name. I'm sorry. Cool. All right, so yeah, some more combat footage. This is kind of like the the entirety of the Raditz fight here. Um, obviously, you know CyberConnect from the Ultimate Ninja Storm four games. They made those. They made a couple other games. The director of CyberConnect two, the one that's working on the game, he is a huge Dragon Ball fan. He let me know what are some of the challenges of developing this game, and kind of his big focus was you have this you have this character that's super duper powerful how do you bring him down to earth and make him you know playable in the game because honestly goku like well i guess at this point he's not a god but he is one of the strongest people you know in the world in the world of dragon ball i'm gonna play this out a little bit more and we'll show more footage as well too it's not just fighting either there's gonna be a lot of exploration i'm sure you guys have seen screenshots of some of the stuff you're able to do uh such as like the fishing uh the fishing mini games and there, there's item collection there's a side quest that you can take uh from other characters as well uh the biggest thing i'm excited about is these uh and i, I got a chance to talk to the producer of the game he was telling me uh, like one of the biggest aspects that they're focusing on is the side missions there where you're able to like talk to these characters and uh and see uh what uh like like see stuff you that you haven't seen in the sagas before like little side stories like hey what happened to uh, android 18 or what happened to krillin stuff like that so you'll be there's going to be like little instances where uh stuff that you didn't see in the animated series you'll see within the game here we have some more footage. As you can tell, it, it is a straight-up action RPG. You see the numbers coming up as the attacks are going. You're able to level up your character. You're able to do all like like the uh, the different side missions to, to gain more levels and stuff like that. People are asking if a demo is coming soon. We have no news to announce for a demo, so there's nothing like that right now. We, uh, we have the demo here playable on the show floor, and I can tell you it is a 